Hey, what's going on, guys? Ronnie Boney here. Thank you uh, for stopping by to another episode. I think this time it's Halo Talk uh, with myself and Weapons Grade. What's going on, guys? So yeah, we uh, we've joined up again. The dynamic duo is is back again to have another discussion. We're finally, uh, back yeah, at exactly. it. <laughs> finally, another honest discussion, uh, in my opinion, about all the things that are going on in the Halo community. And, uh, and that's we, the way we like to keep it. Yeah, exactly. We like <laughs> to kick it real. And uh, so we're going to give you some real opinions from some fairly hardcore Halo players that have been playing for years and people that really prefer classic gameplay. So I'm, I'm going to put that straight out there, uh, for myself anyway, that I'm a classic advocate. And I'll let Weapons Grace speak for himself. Well, well you know you know, you know, know my stance on Halo right oh, yes. now. So. <laughs> oh, yes. I think everyone so I, I guess. I guess that leads us into... Um, you want to talk you wanted to mention mcc on pc i did yeah um so i wanted to mention a few things anyway um just a few issues and things like that that i think people are going to have uh there's going to be quite a lot of issues i think regardless of how well all these flights go which we, we know at the moment that they're not going too well for some of the reach flights they've had to delay them for we were just saying a second ago a serious bugs uh which is yeah. it, it's Look, I'm just, I don't want to be too salty anymore on my channel. I'm growing up. My channel is evolving with me, but I have to put it in there that there's a bug, guys, for a freaking tech test. You know, a, such a severe bug. So I think they shouldn't have announced this if they weren't ready to go forward with this within two, three months. They keep doing this, you know? What do you think? Yeah, exactly. So... What Roni Boney was talking about is there's some something called blocking bugs, and these are bugs that 343 say block the actual flight for reach to work. So these bugs are literally messing up the game. You can't even get a functional product from the flight itself. So these guys can't even get the flight to work, and that kind of makes me a little skeptical of, you know, if they're actually going to be able to get MCC or reach in, in on, on time. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying, Rooney? Like, I, I don't know if they're going to, you know, they said that they're going to release all of them separately, which is what they should have done originally on Xbox. But, like, with, with this happening, is there going to be game-breaking bugs? Like, is the game going to crash on me when I load it through Steam? Do I have to load it through the Windows app then to make it go smoothly? Like, there's all these sorts of, there's all these things. What about mods then? Like, are, is it going to be so unstable that it won't even be worth modding? Like, that's we don't even know. That's fear. We don't, we don't even know if 343 are even at that point. <laughs> oh, no, 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 they're definitely not. They said that mods would come uh, a few months after release, which is, you know, right. standby to standby yeah. is kind of And they there. can't even get the tech test to work. Yeah, so, <laughs> I mean, let's see what which happens. Which was already there. delayed. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. It's, and they're releasing them. Like, we were, we were speaking about this, and you've done a video, and you've mentioned it, and I've done a video, and I've mentioned it, but the, the release of the games, I think, is, it's not effective for bringing in the most player retention and keeping a community there. And just just think about the age of people these days that played Halo. There's probably more people who are old enough to still be playing games. Uh, because as, as you know, as we were saying beforehand, we, we were both working full-time jobs, we are out of college. You don't have a lot of time to game. So you need to hit right. the people you know, at their core, which is you know Halo 3, Halo Reach. And that's the generation that are probably going to be the ones more likely to pick up the game again and play. Not the Halo 1, Halo 2 era guys who are in their 40s with three kids and, uh, you know, diabetes or something like that. You know <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's Exactly. Because I, I mentioned that in my last video. I always said, why would they release from Reach all the way to 4 in chronological order? I mean, yeah, yeah Reach is new and all, but how many people are going to be playing Halo 1 when that releases? Reach is going to get old. You're going to get sick of playing multiplayer over and over again. Yeah. Uh, pe people are going to start leaving, going to other games that offer more content. And when they, oh, we have Halo One now, all right? We have Halo One, great. But how long they already is have it on Halo PC. One? They've had right, it on how PC. Long? They've like look at uh, SPV Three. Like, there, there's lots of these community creations over the years that are done on the Halo One engine. They're all done right. on it. Then Project Not Cartographer, that, the Halo Two one. There's we need Halo Three and Halo Reach first. It's right. And then not to build on to your point. Not only that. But Halo 1 usually, and I say usually, caters to a niche audience. Yeah. Right? You, you don't you don't see people going out and saying, oh, let's play Halo 1 multiplayer. Now, I like Halo 1 multiplayer, don't yeah. get me wrong. It's fun. I like it. But most people like 3 and 2. It's my you know I mean? Halo 1 multiplayer. Like, I, I love all the Halos online. But if I, exactly. if I had a Halo to choose, 
you know, I would much rather play Reach over Halo 1. And that is, like, I'm a classic dude, but that's saying something. Halo 1's, it's just very bland gameplay. It gets, it, I think it gets know, it was, really old really soon. Grenades are like right. nuclear bombs. It's The pistol is the only weapon. Yeah, the pistol is <laughs> the only weapon, exactly. There's, I think Reach well, is a lot more the sniper's priority. good, too. Yeah, the sniper's, sniper's good, good as well. But if you don't have either of those, then you're, you're pretty goosed. So <laughs> I, I don't really, yeah. I, I don't really subscribe to the, the people that think that Halo 1, Halo 2 are the perfect Halo games. There's a lot of things. Halo 2, maybe. But there's a lot of things that they should do, uh, which is basically releasing it sensibly. Release it by the most player counts that you had, which is Reach and Halo 3. It makes the most sense. That's the largest points of the community. Yep. So why would I, they I not totally release agree. that onto PC and, and then say, hey guys, remember 10 years ago? Well, here it is again. You know, do you remember Halo 3? Believe all this crap. They could do all the viral marketing. They could have it on TV. They would bring so many people back into the game. Uh, I just think that it's it's not a very well executed decision. It really is. Right, and what, what, what pisses me off about it is 343 have the actual numbers of population for MCC right mm. now. So they can literally see which games are being played the most, and we all know that's right now Halo 3. Yeah. Right? And we don't Halo know about Reach because they turned off the population counter a few, what, years back, it, so... Halo 1, you can't even find a match in that, in the in the ranked setting. They had it ranked, I think they might have took it off, but well, you can hardly even find a match sometimes. I mean, this is and it. And when, when you do it, it'll take, it'll take seven, eight minutes for a queue. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's like, alright, why would you start your, your second game for the PC version with... Halo 1, I, I think it should be... Why would be... they think that it would work on PC if it doesn't well really work on console? I mean, this is where like, Halo was born on console. Well, it was, really, yeah, it was born on PC as well, I guess, back in the day for Halo 1, Halo 2. But right. its main player base is on console, and whatever, the console community reflects, I believe anyway, what the PC community will be like. People are going to be playing Halo 3. People are going to want to play Halo 2 as well. I think a lot of people are going to want to play Halo 2 on PC when it's remastered with the Halo 2 oh, anniversary yeah. edition. Uh, everyone's going to want to play, like I said, Halo 3, Halo Reach. I think those will be the three most popular. H2, H3, and Reach. Out of exactly. every game in those collections. So. And that's that's what I think they should do yeah. in the release schedule. And like that's some, like some, money-wise some... as well. People might say, oh, monetarily, maybe they want to move up through the, the... People will argue. All the lore people, all the campaign people will argue. They want to move up through it in chronological story, story order. Fuck Here we go with that the stories bullshit. in Halo, all right? I love the stories in Halo. I right. love them. But fuck the stories in Halo if it's going to prevent Thank Halo you. from growing. Right? Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because I say the same thing. It's like, yeah. all right, you, you know, I understand. That's cool. Chronological order, you know, Halo Halo Reach, then one, two, three. But absolutely, we've already played the campaigns already. Yeah, you know I, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. There's only so many times I can see Johnson die or, you know, see Noble Team, like, get picked off one by one. And have an emotional reaction. There's only so many times I can do that. I've played through these games for so many years. It's the multiplayer that keeps everyone coming back. And if someone exactly. comes back and just wants to play, you know, Forge or whatever it is, then, then fair enough. That's that's their thing. But the main core of this community are multiplayer advocates. People that like social. People that like ranked. People that like the crazy game modes. That's what you need to give people first. And those games happen to be Halo 3, Halo 2, and Halo Reach. And that's just exactly. it. Exactly. So, exactly. I think Especially should... when you consider like the audience that's coming over mm. to the MCC PC, like like people like you and me, we've already played MCC on Xbox in yeah. 60 FPS and whatever. I mean, yeah. we don't want to play the campaign again, right? No. We want to play multiplayer. I, I mean, I will play the campaign again um, right. at some we, stage. We will. But, but I, I want to see what I the will. PC community are like. You know, with the, I want to see if it's fair to play with a controller. I want to see if it's fair to play with a mouse and keyboard because I've been playing with exactly. a mouse and keyboard now for for a while and. I think uh, that was a point actually I was going to bring up uh, a while back that I forgot about, but circle back to it now that I think a lot of people on PC transitioning over are going to have a lot of trouble with movement because with, a, with an analog stick, you can do circles. You can properly do circles. You cannot with WASD. You're going to have better aim, but some people's strafes are not going to be as good. And that's something that I think is going to, it's going to be a separating point. It's kind of like Gears of War when it went over to PC. That some people who played with keyboard mouse versus people who are playing with the controller. People say, oh, it's unfair, they can aim better. Yes, they can. People can aim way better and more accurately. But in Halo and Gears, those games that were made for their stick shooters, basically, they work better with a stick, with an analog stick for movement, especially. So I think there's going to be 
I think when people think, you know, oh, cross-play lobbies between MCC on Xbox or MCC on PC, if that ever becomes a reality, I think people are worried about that. I'm going to tell them right now, I don't think they should be worried at all. I think they can do just as well if they've played the game and they've, they know the game. And You know, you know. it's funny you actually mentioned this, because when I, when I hear the cross-play arguments revolving around, you know, controller versus mouse and keyboard, what you just said, it kind of, it, it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, mo movement can act as a trade-off, if you will, for better aim. Yeah. If that makes sense. A lot of the time it can, and yeah. Not only that, but uh, from what I understand, the controller version will still have, you know, aim assist. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it, it might make up for it. And, you know, Halo, in, in, in terms of the aiming department, it isn't like these other games that are out there. Yeah, of course not. It's, it's, not, it's I more mean, about battle, pacing. I, it's, it's right. how you pace your shots. It's how you, you anticipate movement. It's like chess. I always say this. It's like chess. But it's like having to think two, three moves in front of someone. Or maybe just one move if they surprise you. You know, Halo is a game of, of inches. So exactly. I, I really don't exactly. think that someone's... I, I don't, I, honestly, I've played people on Halo Online with a controller and with mouse and keyboard. And I still think I'm better with a controller than I am with mouse and keyboard. I'm trying to learn mouse and keyboard just because I'm mainly on PC these days, but... I still think I'm right. better on the sticks, and it's. And you bring up another good point. Not everybody's good with mouse and keyboard. If you yeah. gave me mouse and if you gave me mouse and keyboard, coming from you know a player that's mostly played console for the most of his life, I would get destroyed. Yeah, <laughs> but with I, I, with the controller, even to... without aim assist, you know, you probably do a lot better than you would with the mouse and keyboard initially. Anyway, right? There's that initial I would have kind to of like my brain. Exactly. That's yeah, the... you, you have to yeah. get that muscle memory back and get your you know it's kind of like learning how to drive a car and everything like changing well over here anyway not in a lot of states changing gears and going up so through the gears a... and things like that. So it's it's just like that, like getting those repetition, 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 but. I, I think people are going to bring that up as a huge moot point as to why they don't want Halo on PC or they don't want crossplay lobbies. And I think it's ridiculous. Like, look at what Modern Warfare is doing now, Call of Duty, with their crossplay lobbies, which is an smart. excellent... It's so, so smart, smart, isn't it? If you plug smart. in mouse and keyboard into a console, you're playing against people with that input. So it's input-based now. And I think that's, that's a smart idea going forward. If they're going to have and, yeah. know, PC and Xbox and console platforms all linked up together, that's the way to do it's, it. It's basically the same exact system that Fortnite uses with crossplay. Yes, that's exactly how Fortnite worked, and it's been so successful. Yes, it, it's so it's so brilliant to even see all these communities converge into one. Yeah, because the community grows by that many times. Yes, right. Imagine if imagine if we had Halo and and uh, PC on crossplay. Imagine you know if you're trying to search for a match and it's taking forever. How much faster do you get that match, that niche game type you want to play, but you can't play right now exactly. because nobody's playing it. You know and, what I mean? And, and I'll tell so you I, diehard guys this as well. Anyone that really cares about it that much to the point that they're complaining, go outside. You know, go get a job. Go for a run because, like, your priorities <laughs> are not straight. They're not straight. People want it. Most of the people, and I'd say this, the majority of the community that aren't trying to play ranked play or, or don't see themselves as, a you know, an MLG pro, these are just people that are coming back after work or after a hard day, whatever it is, and they just want to play some Halo. They're not caring too much about it. They want to win every single game. They want to get a level 50. That was that was years ago. That's in the past now. You know, Now it's just about keeping the community alive and having a platform for everyone to get games going and have a good time. Because the more people that come in, the, the bigger the community gets, the larger it is, then we can start talking about these little, like you said, niche aspects of the game, like... You know, controller right. only lobbies well, and that kind of thing. Well, well about that, I will say, because I, I, I like playing ranked myself. I will say, you know, maybe if things do get out of hand in ranked, that yeah. maybe they they could separate it to where okay, ranked only, you only play with you know, I agree, uh, with controller your only or yeah. or exactly, yeah, you only play with your input in ranked. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe even in certain game modes, right? Because people are gonna bitch and whine and say it's unfair and this and that. Um, but social, definitely social, yeah. needs to be social pure should be completely crossplay. Unlocked. It should be madness. Like it, it, Sh yeah. it should be total madness. That's what Halo is. Like when I play Halo online, and I do quite a lot, it's uh, maximum sixteen players per lobby. If you have two teams of eight playing on Guardian, it's an absolute, it's mayhem, and it's so much fun. And I don't care how many times I've died. I don't care if someone's using a controller or their mouse and keyboard and just three sixty no scopes me. You know, with 6,000 6, DPI mice, whatever it is. I don't care because I'm having right. fun and playing Halo. And you, have, my, to, my you main have to look past worry. it, basically. Exactly. My, my main worry is that 
people are going to come on to the game and because and, you know uh, MCC has this custom games browser kind of like custom games browser it's like a search browser for the social yeah, games yeah. so you can choose like Halo 2 I think it's quite good and I yeah. want to I want to play Team SWAT on Halo 2 at 2v2 or whatever. Yeah. But a lot of the stuff, a lot of the options that you're given, you can't even do because it yeah. takes forever to find a game. And you, you can't I mean? search for free-for-all either, which is a, a huge sin. You should be able yeah. to search for free-for-all lobbies. Like it's Free-for-all is one of the, the best ways to get better at Halo. Work on your own individual game. Like Everyone who well, played I... through Lone Wolves in Halo 3 uh, got 45 upwards on the ranking system was a good player in Team Slayer because they can handle their own shit. That's... Well, I think they they might have added free Did for they? all. I, I can't I can't. They have I'm Rumble Pit, sure, like, but like I don't. Can you search for Rumble Pit? Can you in the settings? Maybe I'm wrong there, but it, it's like it's like eight player free for all now. I think. Okay, all right. So they, they but it took them forever. <laughs> I'll okay. give you that. <laughs> yeah. But, but it, it's in there finally. Things. See, I I, um, I haven't played MCC in like a month or two now, so that kind of that kind of hits home. And there, and, so. and that that's the sad thing. I've I've been. I'm glad you mentioned that. I've been kind of haloed out. Yeah. Um, you know, after the Infinite announcement, you know, that was kind of exciting. Uh, I wanted to see gameplay personally. Yes. But um, it, it looked like it was going into a classic direction. But again, we don't really know too it much. It looks phenomenal. Information. I have nothing right. bad to say about its art direction at all. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, see, even 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 the phone is ringing. It's like it's amazing. Um, it, it is absolutely amazing looking. I just really want to see gameplay, so the reason that a lot of people were probably messaging you and a lot of people were asking me to release a video around that time on what I thought about it, I, d I don't have much to say, so I didn't release anything about it. I really don't exactly. have much to say about it. We, we, we weren't given exactly. a lot, and I'm not going to be talking about Halo Infinite in depth until there actually are details to talk about that, that I myself and the community that kind of gets behind my channel and your channel, I guess, as well. Um, you know, talking points that we've been looking, you know, to be spoken about for years. So that, that's when I will kind of break my silence on Infinite. But for now, I'm staying tight-lipped because there's not much to to know about it, really. Right. I mean, we can only speculate at this point. Yeah. We, all we got was that little trailer, um, which I thought it was cool, but you know, we don't even know if that's going to be representative of the actual gameplay. Like yeah. when we go in and look. You know, you know, they do this all the time at E3, in-game footage, and then when you get to the release date, it looks nothing like. Look at Anthem. Yeah. Anthem was, a, <laughs> was a huge, huge fail. Like, I played quite a quite a bit of Anthem for, for a while, and yeah, it was a total failure of a game. Like, the graphics didn't represent it, so that's why, guys, kind of, it's a, it's a warning to all you guys, just to kind of, just stop hyping yourselves up in the Hale community. There's been so many times that the Halo community have hyped themselves up and been disappointed. So just stop expecting things. And then you won't be, dis <laughs> then you won't be disappointed. Because That's this the point, point where I'm at right now. <laughs> yeah, the same. Yeah, it's we, we got to just, everyone, let's get more yeah. mature and let's really look at it. Of what You know, let's look at it for what it is. And it, it's not looking good, guys. <laughs> it doesn't look good uh, at the moment. Right. There's, there's quite a lot of things that are stopping the game. And before it even comes out the door, there's all this controversy again already so let's I, I can i can see why the community focuses on the good things like the halo outpost discovery and you know all their artwork and lore and stuff like that i can see why that's kind of come to the forefront because it's basically untouchable like it's it's static it's it's there it's set in stone it won't change there can't be you know a patch can't screw up the lore but for the people that are looking for gameplay just Stop looking at the gameplay, focus on another game for a while, and come back when there's actual tangible details, because we've got nothing to go on now. We've got nothing to go right. on now, so don't get hyped up. Don't get, you know, distracted or depressed about it. Just just let it be, baby. Just let it happen, baby. When you when you mention the gameplay, Rooney Booney, I, that's my main concern when it comes to Halo Infinite. Hmm. And, you know, we, didn't, we obviously didn't get that at E3, but, no. you know, it makes me still speculate as to what kind of game halo infinite will be hmm. right I, I see that they went sort of i guess we can say the classic art style where it has a sort of a mixture of almost all the games in the art style if you will yeah um but but i it makes me wonder you know does, does that mean they're going to the roots of the gameplay you know the weapons melee grenade golden triangle formula of halo yeah, so. maybe maybe with some additions here and there but nothing that would escalate it to be sort of like halo 4 or of course I hate Halo 5, but Halo yeah. 5. <laughs> yeah, it's... I, we, um, don't, we don't but, mention that around here, uh, that word. Right, like... Halo 5. Like, I... 
I, I really want to see a Halo without Sprint. I want to see a Halo without all these armor abilities and different shenanigans that are that are quoted to enhance or innovate the gameplay when really they're just well, I want to features see that are in other games. I want to see a respect, <laughs> finally, for all of the community because there, there, this has been an outcry for years that classic people want a classic playlist and they tried implementing that in Halo 5 but it just didn't work because of the hitscan weapons. It was designed around the abilities so and it really showed when they did make you know the, the classic settings playlist. Uh, the first classic, classic settings playlist was a joke because it still had thrusters and ground pound so that's a big no-no uh, but I think that the best way to go forward for them you know for Halo Infinite anyway would be to have you know an evolved settings playlist which is you know 343's rules with thrust sprint whatever the heck they want and then to have a classic playlist and then community creations. You know, just do it the way Bungie did. And I, I hate having to go back and say that because people label you like a Bungie fanboy. I'm not anymore anyway, um, after all the crap with Destiny. But I think Bungie did it correctly, that they listened to what the community wanted and they built playlists based on community feedback. And that's exactly what 343 needs to do. It's necessary at this point. And depending, I believe, on how Halo does on PC, you know, if the numbers are huge for Halo 3 and Halo Reach, um, then, you know, they'll have a lot of data to actually make make decisions on, you know, the gameplay. So, I, I hope... Now here's the... <clears throat> here's the issue with, with 343 and data, though. Hmm. 343 get their data from where? Halo Waypoint forums. Halo Reddit. People, people that... People that... Like Halo. ...are in, in, in an echo chamber of 343 loving and Halo appeal right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, their data isn't representative of the global halo population right you have guys on there saying we want sprint we want armor abilities we want jetpack we want all this stupid shit right yeah. but then on the opposite end of the spectrum you have guys like us who aren't involved in those communities saying we want classic we want this we want that because we are so detached from the actual gameplay yeah well it's futile to even start arguing on those forums anyway because you'll get you know you get voted down uh, they'll probably remove your thread a moderator might remove your thread uh, you might get a warning you might get told that you're acting toxic even if you're even if you're stating everything very cordially about like your disagreements someone will just chime in and try and like seize the moral high ground and say nope gameplay's fine bye and it's right it's not and nice, then, then, and it's immature, and it's it, it's really telling as to where the community's gone. Like we, I I believe anyway that there's a lot more people in the Halo community than are actually active. There's all these classic fans that would, I know a lot of guys that would pick this game back up again if Halo Three and Halo Reach were you know announced and released right now. Like a lot of people that have had great memories with Halo, the original ones back in the day. Uh, whereas the the current fans now, I, I don't want I don't know what it is. I think they like being spoon fed bullshit by three four three and and being given lore and posters and comics and stuff. Like, I think <laughs> I honestly a few years back I, I was flamed on Twitter for saying that I think they should cease all their lore and focus on repairing the gameplay and building Halo Five into a better game because that's where they'll get most of their sales. People won't care about the lore if the gameplay sucks. And uh, you know right. I was torn down for that, but. I think we've I, ended I up being right. I hate to say I told you so to the Halo community, but I've been telling you so, and so is Weapons Grade for about five years now. So I don't know. I don't know if we're never going to be listened to, really. But I don't know. I think we're reasonable. <laughs> right. I, I, and and one last thing on data, because you mentioned you know three four three aren't getting their data correctly, and and I I've said this time and time again. I mean, look at the sprint poll. Right. Yeah. There was a sprint. I did a video on this, but there was a sprint poll. <laughs> 343 conducted a poll within their own little communities, you know, the Halo Reddit, Halo Waypoint, this, hey, click this link, take this survey on the <laughs> Halo community poll. feedback forum, <laughs> right? And then it, it came out to 11% didn't want Sprint and the rest did. Yeah, that's or like... Some, some, or, or some variation of that. But 11% of the community did not want Sprint. That's crazy. And that is bullshit, dude. Yeah. Bullshit, man. Are you kidding me? I love it, man. Get fired <laughs> up. That's it. That's it's Get crazy. Fired up. <laughs> it's just like... That's where they're getting their feedback from. That's yeah. where they're getting, and, and it revolves around in a circle. There's this echo chamber of three, four, three loving, and you know, we we want sprint, we want armor abilities, we want all this and that, and we like maps the way they are, and really things need to change. So That's it. I'm hoping, I'm, I'm I'm hoping, you know, that, that things change in that regard. I don't think they're going to, but I, I hope three, four, three just go. You know what? We're gonna make a classic game. Yes. And then, and, and even then, though, you mentioned. Uh, separate playlists. Like, we're going to have a legacy playlist for the legacy fans, yes, and then we're going to have like that, yeah. 
we're, we're gonna have, you know, the new Halo for the Like new Call Halo of Duty's play. doing this year. Their competitive playlist has radar for the competitive players, even though the base game doesn't. So there's That's... they're diverging their mechanics, but they're paying respect to the people that have played a certain way for years. And I'm telling you, this is the big this this is gonna be the biggest year for COD ever. It, it definitely yeah, I... is. I, I think it's gonna be huge. Yeah, and like <laughs> it, look, it, looks, it looks good. Four, three. It does look good. It fuck me. It looks good, man. I, I, you know, I was a bit disappointed with Black Ops Four, but the, you know, they got some good ideas in there. Um, now it looks like they're finally gonna execute with a decent Call of Duty game, and this is something that COD has COD has gone through rough patches, but it's brought itself back by listening more and more so, a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on the game, to its community. Right. And Halo just hasn't. It's like they've just said, we're creating this game. We don't care about the community for years. Oh, shit. Where are all our fans? Looks like we have to start listening to you guys now. And it, it's it's insulting to have been treated that way. And I, I'm past it now. But I think 343 needs to be aware that they could lose some of their die. I was a diehard fan for Halo. I, it couldn't do anything wrong back a few years ago. Um, Rony, I actually had a question. Hmm. Um, what do you think of Halo's player count? Do you think Infinite... <laughs> Should increase its player count, like because uh, you see, you see Call of Duty Modern Warfare coming out. You know they, all, all these games now, every single almost FPS on the market besides maybe Siege. Yeah. You know you can play 50 players. Um, Modern Warfare has 50 v 50, 40 v 40 now. You know you, you had Apex with all these player counts, Battlefield. Mm. Sort of all these games are stepping into that big team sort of war zone mode. Battle Royale you, modes, kind of like you, it's Battle Royale made everything bigger and better. Um, right. Do you think Halo, in its own way, should chip into that? Maybe have, they're gonna do maybe a Battle increase... Royale in Infinite. They're gonna do it. They're they're gonna do it. I think they will. I think it's been you so think? much. Yeah, they're like the only BR is battle is Battle Rifle. That's what Frank uh, Frankie was saying. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I don't fucking believe him. Wow. I'm sorry. I don't believe him. I don't believe him for a second. I think they've seen the commercial success with Battle Royale, and I think they'd be... I, I personally think they'd be stupid not to at least try. At least try game mode. And I think it might actually work. You know, something in me thinks it might work, but let the Forge guys take care of it. You know, have a Battle Royale game mode, and let the Forge guys build the maps. And build all the set pieces. But I don't right. think they should, you know, take resources away. Build Halo Infinite, give us a great campaign, finish off this, this you know forerunner trilogy finish this off strong and you know just give give everyone a game like halo 3 or halo reach something that the community can build for years and i i, and I that's the only way i can see halo surviving and i don't want it to i don't want it to fail man but it might now a lot of the community will disagree strongly with that um for some reason in halo there's yeah, always been this hate towards battle royale and i'm glad you know you're just speaking honestly and stuff i personally agree um I'm a, I'm personally a fan of Battle Royale myself. Yeah. Um, I, I think Battle Royale at this point, almost in, in shooters, have become a staple. Yeah. Right? Right? Call of Duty's doing it. Battlefield is doing it. Overwatch right. is doing it. It's competitive without it needing a ranking games, system. So that's all I think games I a lot going for it. Are doing it. it I, I almost compare it to adding um, maybe theater mode. You know, Halo 3 had theater mode on console. Then Call of Duty did. Then this game did. Then this game did. It's kind of like a, a feature that it, it, a game almost needs to compete in today's environment. Not yeah. all, not all of them now. Not all of them, but it, it's almost stupid at a business perspective not to have battle royale. Yeah. And that's that's what Respawn Entertainment literally said when they when they made um, Apex. They were like, "You go, know, guys. What could we make that would be big and huge?" Oh, yeah. battle royale. Yeah, yeah. Why? Because there aren't that many battle royale games. It's yeah. a, a market that is still beginning and developing you know with fortnite PUBG, and h1z1 and now apex legends boom yeah. huge huge battle royale game, well, ultimately right? though i think you know if halo battle royale wasn't as good as the other ones like i really like PUBG, so i would i think PUBG is one of the best if not the best battle royale at the moment i'm, I'm not much of a fan of fortnite or or apex i don't really i don't I've know, played or, them or, all or firestorm I, you've played them all have you what do you think yeah i my fa my personal favorite so PUBG was my first and i I always give credit to PUBG, you know, for for popularizing the genre. Yeah. Um, or I guess H1Z1 kind of yeah. did that, but kill, but yeah. it wasn't as popular. It wasn't nearly as popular. No. But um, so PUBG left H1Z1 and then. 
Yeah, PUBG is probably my favorite, and then I'd say Apex. I, I did play Fortnite for a time, but it just got so sweaty and yeah. crazy. But, but Brody, um, now you mentioned all they would have to do, and I agree, is they don't really need to dedicate resources to Battle Royale. We already have Forge Mode. We yeah. already have Forge Mode, right? We can build our own Battle Royale maps. We have yeah. all the weapons in Halo already. We we have all these things. You know what I mean? All 343 have to do is increase the player count. Like how good that's would it. that be? Just just think about that's it. a Halo Battle that's Royale. It. <laughs> you know, there's like... Think about like, okay, there's warthogs around the map. There's mongooses to get into the zone. There's like banshees and, and hornets. And there's a lot of like Spartan lasers and things. There's a Spartan laser at certain points or, you know, whatever it is. Like a drop comes down and it's one of those ordnance drops. That would be a good way to actually use those. And it comes down right. and like teams are fighting over the Spartan laser because towards the end game someone might have a banshee or a tank. And you might need to use that to take it out in one. It's just, you know you know what I mean? Like, Halo has so many different mechanics. That, and there could be man cannons to get to places a lot faster. Halo has so many things that it, it, it would be amazing. Imagine four teams facing off against each other in a Battle Royale scenario in Halo. Like, they're going to run out of ammo at some point. So at some time, you know, there's going to be four dudes, like, charging at you with just going to melee. You know, it could happen. It would turn into it a could. brawl fest. It, it would be really fun. I think it'd be really fun, but I do think that the Forgers should, should build it first and foremost. And that right, they shouldn't because if, resources. If, if the Forgers build it, it's almost like all 343 have to do is just increase the player count to yeah, maybe or just 50, get, make 60. their own rules. You know, like make an right. official version then based off the Forge ones and then tweak it. And that's what's cool about Halo and, and its combination with the Battle Royale sandbox is that it's it could be done almost effortlessly. Yes. You can get past the player count. It could be done effortlessly. Like Duquesne so I, would probably make the best... Forge map ever for right. battle royale yeah right <laughs> he would so like, I, I i don't oppose battle royale and halo God, no. for that right and even then even then if they do dedicate resources to a battle royale mode right they've already dedicated resources to something like a war zone in halo 5 yeah one of the one of the most gimmicky stupid in my opinion game modes that have ever been made for it i hated war zone yeah with the cards and the respawning and it just it was disgusting. I hated Warzone. Yeah, it's right? not, a, so, it's not so good, I, so... I, sometimes I don't understand, though, how people would are okay with Warzone, but then when they when people mention Battle Royale, they go, oh, well, you know, uh... But I, I, I would do love would love to see a firefight mode on release. Yeah. Firefight, definitely. I, You know, they, they gotta have firefight. In there's, there. a, there's a lot of things. I think that one of the key points here uh, is release. On release. That a lot of things have to go right. right on release. It, this can't be a build in progress anymore. And I would prefer, I know that we were kind of at, at the start of this discussion saying that, oh, you know, they, they're not even able to release a tech test on time. But if they're able to release the game in its full-fledged state, even if it's late and it works and it has a lot of features, that's better than releasing it, you know, in a broken state. They can't, you can't release MCC or Infinite Broken. You can't. They do that again, it's done. Halo's done. And you could even take that to the when we're talking about MCC's chronological order of games. You know, we're gonna release one at a time. Yeah. Uh, reach one, two, blah blah blah. Why don't you just release them all at once? Oh, I don't know about that. Right. Why? Why don't you just wait? Why don't you just wait till they're all ready and then release the game yeah. in one piece? Yeah. Or like, okay, so like they're working on Reach and then Halo Three, and okay, Reach is gonna be done in two months, so we're gonna release Reach. Then two months later, Halo 3 will be done, so we'll release Halo 3, and then we'll, you know, make sure Halo 2, Halo 1, or... If they did something like that, like that kind of staggered release date, like every two months you get another Halo game, that'd be amazing. Halo would be in the news for an entire year before Halo Infinite. I just think of it like that with their releases. Like, the, the more that they release, and they know that this is a marketing strategy for them as well, that with these games coming out, they could even be delaying the release because they want to have a release model like that. Like, every three months, there's a new Halo and, game coming out. And then Halo Infinite comes out. Like, aren't you guys hyped? Play all the games again before Halo <laughs> Infinite. You know, it seems logical. It seems very I, logical. I, I see that. Wait, and I see that. And I, I see that. And what I think, though, is that if we released all the games at one time and made sure we, we tested it, made sure they worked properly, the whole nine yards, which, you know, they're probably not good at. But albeit, if we released all the games at one time, yeah. You're giving your you're giving your community of on PC the full package and experience of the games. Because yeah. what I fear, what I fear 
is when you release Halo 1, or I'm sorry, Halo, when you release Halo Reach, people are going to flock to Halo Reach. Oh, this is great. This is cool. All right, when's the next game coming out? How long is it going to be? Two months? Four? Five? Oh, something didn't work. There's a bug, yeah. so we have to delay. But here's right? Halo when... 1 again. So who gives a shit? Like, and, and exactly. Here's Halo 1. Boom. Well, we wanted Halo 3. Yeah. When are we getting Halo 3? How long is it going to take to get all the way up to the most popular game in the franchise? So yep, I think there, there are definitely better ways to do to do it than what they're doing. Um, We can definitely agree on that. Yeah. The way it is now isn't as, as efficient Although as it I could Although I do be. think Halo 2 will be amazing on PC with a new community. Oh, yes. I think that is yes. going to be just crazy good. Like, if people are going to see That's my favorite Halo. Halo. <laughs> That's it's my be- favorite for one. For me, it's between Halo 2, Halo 2 and Reach for multiplayer, and then Halo 3 is my favorite. I love Halo 2. But yeah, no, Halo 2, man, is, is going to bring the lols as well. Like, some of those maps are just, they're perfect. They're perfect for multiplayer mayhem. Like, they've struck gold with some of these older games, so they just have to deliver. And they just have to showcase how good these games are, and I think they can do pretty well. Anyway, um, so yeah, I think uh, we've talked about all our talking points. Um, it was great yeah, to it, do the conversation, dude. Like, it's been a long time since we've done this. and Exactly, man. <laughs> yeah, we always click, man, whenever we're having conversations. Like, it's you always remind me of a point I'm beginning to, you know, announce and vice versa. Yeah, it's like, when you, when, you built, when you built on my point about Halo 3 on Halo 5, I, I, I completely forgot about that. I was like, yeah. what? Like reading, I forgot reading each other's that. minds, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really, yeah. But anyway, okay, I'm, I'm going to sign off then, guys. Uh, myself and Weapons Grade have been talking about doing some other discussion videos, so kind of stay yeah, tuned so for those. Probably... Maybe one on Gears, you were saying? Yeah, Gears of War. Uh, what else? <laughs> and, uh, um, just may- maybe the, vi- the, violence and vid- the violence in video game discussions. I think that would be a good one to hit. That could be fun, yeah. <laughs> That's good. So we're, that, all that's going to come to you guys in the future. Um, in the future, uh, I know that kind of sounds ominous with with both of our horrific release schedules. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's bad. But uh, it is coming. It is coming to you guys because whenever we get together, uh, we have some good conversations, and you guys tend not to only that, so. but we have fun when we get together. Yeah, we, that's true. We, yeah, no, it, it is. It is a I, good I, conversation. I, I always look forward to these discussions with Roni because it's just like I, it's not—it's not like a job or a chore. It, it's just, it's fun. You yeah. know, sit down, talk, have a good discussion, shoot the shit. Yeah, it's not Whatever. forced at all, guys. Honestly, it's even though we force ourselves to to adhere to time zones because I mean I'm in Ireland, he's in USA, but it's it is what it is. Like we make it work, and I, and you guys enjoy it, and I I think it can say for both of us we appreciate all the support you guys give to us and trying to fight the good fight for for classic Halo. All right. All right, guys. We shall see you next time. See you.